All right, today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade LED panel salvage from an LED TV. And uh, this one here, I got this whole panel here is an LED panel that I salvaged from a, uh, an LED TV. And um, it has to be an LED TV, uh, it can't be an LCD TV because the older LCD TV uses the uh, fluorescent light like this so this is like just like the tube light but it's really small this is for backlight of the LC LCD TV but um, you see how small that is but an LED TV uses LED lights like these like this panel here you see the round dots here. Each round dot is an LED bulb and this strip here I got a sandwich from this panel. And let me show you what it looks like inside this LED panel. This is the panel, the back panel from the TV. You see that? This is the back mount to mount on the wall and on, on the other side this is it's got LED light and inside this LED strips. So see, these are the LED strips. See that? So there's one, one strip here, one strip here, and then um, one here, one here, one here, and over there. And it depends on the kind of the uh, of each TV, each manufacturer makes it differently. But this is a Samsung uh, LED TV, and what they how they do it is they use uh, the strips like this. So each strip contains seven LED. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you see the. Let me zoom in here. Let's see it. This bubble thing plastic bubble thing here this is just a plastic piece underneath is the LED the LED is is pretty small underneath this round thing here is just plastic so the LED itself is not this big it's pretty small and uh, got it removed and here's what it looks like you see this that is the the L the actual LED. You see here here's the plastic. Here's the actual LED. And uh, this strip here I already burned one LED. And I remove it from here. As you can see it's missing. Okay. And um I'll show you this one here. Each LED here is um, 3.7 volts and there are seven of them so you take 3.7 times 8 times 7 I mean 3.7 volts and they are in series and you take 3.7 times 7 you got about 25.9 or around 26 volts so to light up this LED you need 26 volt DC and I've tried it with a uh, DC power supply and it works with 26 volt and it's very bright so today's video I'm going to show you how to uh, light up this whole LED panel and then make it a uh, sort of a uh, LED light panel and um, because this is this is a little bit too big for me, and uh, you can see how how it's spaced out between one strip and the other strip. It's pretty far away, and this panel is quite big and clumsy to move around. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a uh, a broken LCD screen like this one here. And uh, let's see. So this screen here is an LCD screen that is broken. And uh, show you 
the rest of the screen here. The rest of the screen is broken. And I already removed everything in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna um, put on the uh, the LED strip. I'm gonna put this on here like so. Okay. And I stick the strip right on here. All right. And then there are about one, two, three, four, five. About ten strip, and I already broken one strip, so I only have nine strips left. But that should be enough. I'm gonna stick them all in here on the screen here, make it small and portable. And then uh, I'll show also show you how to power these lights. It's very simple and uh, very effective. Right. So let me show you how these LED strips are wired. Underneath here, so there are one, two, three, four. Should be another strip here, but it's broken, so I removed it. So I've got four on this side and five on the other side. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five on the other side. So these strips they are connected in series. So from here, so zoom in here. You can see that's positive, negative. So negative of this one go to positive of the next one. As you can see, there you go. So they are connected in series, right? So say four of these connected is gonna be each strip require 26 volts. I wrote down here 26 volts to power the whole strip of seven LED. So for four strips, it's going to be about 100 volts. And on the other side, <coughs> in series, five strips is going to be about 125 to 130 volts. And that's enough to kill you. That's dangerous. Plus, I don't have any kind of power supply that can produce that much voltage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire all these in parallel. So I only need 26 volts total to power all these if I wire them all in parallel. So all of these are going to be positive to positive and negative to negative. So all of these. So let me show you the strip here. There's two wire coming out. So one wire is positive. Positive. So this wire is positive and that wire is negative. See negative? very small sign negative sign there so so negative of this strip is gonna be connected to negative of this strip and same here they all connected together all of the negative connected together and all of the positive are gonna be connected together and that way I only need 26 volts to power all of this Right, so I'm gonna be cutting all these wire, connect them together in parallel. I'll be right back. Right, so I've just done with the uh, connecting the wires together. Uh, they're all in parallel, so I use this metal uh, wire got from a 99 cent store and solder all the wire together so the positive wire all go like this positive wire the, I mean the red wire the positive wire go up here same here positive go up here so they all go to the same wire right and the negative go to the wire below so I'll go to the same wire same here on this side so all the positive wire the red wire I'll go to the same metal wire right? and the negative I solder them together I find it easier to use this metal wire to solder all the wire together instead of bundle them like this it's 
it's a lot harder and uh, it's all ready to go so let's uh, turn it on right before I turn this on uh, let's talk about the way to power uh, this LED panel because all you need is a 26 volt DC to power all of these so there are many ways that you can power this panel uh, the first and uh, the first way is to use a variable power supply like this one so this is a power supply that can adjust you can adjust the voltage so um, as long as you can get it to 26 volt it's good to go the second way to do it is to use a battery because that is 26 volt this battery here is only around 21 22 volts at full charge and uh, even though it's lower than the uh, required voltage of this uh, panel it still works and I, I'm going to show you later the best way is to use these these are 18650 lithium ion rechargeable batteries and six of these each of these is four volts six of these will produce 24 volts and at full charge it is a little bit over 24 volts I think it's at full charge around 25.2 volts which is almost 26 volts uh, which is best and I found out another way to power this uh, LED panel is to use a uh, 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 an AC adapter so I've got the uh, this one you probably have seen this before this is very very popular adapter from the uh, Apple iBook uh, computer and it is remember this connector from the iBook and um, this one here this particular one here is broken it's not working anymore so I cut the wire but the adapter still produce uh, voltage and if you look under the specs here let me zoom in see if you can see it but the specs here say output 24.5 volts DC I don't I'm not sure if you can see it it's quite small letter but it says 24.5 volt DC which is perfect for this application so uh, I will also try this method right so first let's try it with the power tool battery this is a black and darker 20 volt lithium ion battery and, uh, let's see how uh, good it is so there's a negative and a positive terminal on here so I'm just gonna plug it in like so There you go. It's quite bright. Not sure how you how well can you see it in the video, but uh, it's quite bright out here. I have to not try not to look at it. Very bright, and that's only at 20 volts. Let me try. Let me try the other uh, Apple power supply. This is going to be, this one here is going to be a lot brighter. Alright, All right, so I've just plugged it in and I've just measured this with a voltmeter and it shows 25 volts. This battery here was 20 volts. Let's see how brighter it is compared to the, the other one. Are you ready? whoa that now that is bright now I can't even look at it I would say it's a bright it's about twice as bright as the uh, the battery power oh that's so bright Woo. all right 
Right, so I have this uh, LED light bulb here. This one produces 1,100 lumen. This panel here produces about four to five times brighter than this. So I would say it's around four to five thousand lumens. It's very bright. And um, I think because it requires 26 volts, so um, you can still power it with this uh, cordless tool battery. It's convenient, but it doesn't produce as much brightness as uh, a full voltage at 26 volts. And um, this one is the best, but you have to plug it in. So uh, I think these will be the next best thing. So I uh, just saw that it, these six 18650 batteries together, so each one is 4 volt. Six, six of them is 24 volts, 24 to 25 volts, so which is perfect for this application. So six of these together in series will make this panel portable and you can bring it anywhere uh, instead of relying on an, uh, an outlet if you use this. Alright, so there you have it, uh, LED panel homemade from salvage uh, broken TV and it doesn't cost me anything to produce uh, this panel and uh, it's very bright and I can make it portable so I can bring it anywhere I can make it a work light or bring it to camping or whatever and uh, my next video is going to use uh, the same uh, uh, LED but I'm going to put it on this monitor I'm going to put it on this monitor, like so, so it's more tightly packed together and you know it, it's smaller and it's even more portable. Uh, this panel is okay but it's, it's a little bit too big and uh, you know, this is going to be a lot better and uh, more portable. So uh, that's going to be my next video. Alright folks, and uh, that's all I have for now, and thank you for watching.